Hi folks, how are we all doing today? Today we are going to learn something very much new and we haven't learned about this uh, so far. So this is something which, which is um, a cool feature we can say, uh, which we can add into our scratch. So it is, um, we can say that this is an extension which we are using in MIT Scratch. So there is actually a raise, uh, raise platform, right? So playground.raise.mit.edu create would actually take you here. So it's PRG AI blocks. So wherein uh, for the usual common scratch, you can uh, actually find out that there are multiple extensions which are added into this, this thing. So, uh, rest of the extensions are actually same like you can see in your scratch but we have an extra four extensions added over here which is teachable machine extension then we have um, hand sensing we have face sensing we have body sensing right so uh, let's just quickly um, see what each each extension does and how to use them in our scratch platform right so uh, it's pretty much simple. The use and all is absolutely same. Like how do you use your scratch? It's absolutely same. But only the thing is you cannot save it to your account and you cannot share these projects. Okay. So it's just like you have to create the project and um, you will have to download the code if you can. Uh, definitely you can right so if you want it you can save it to your computer and you want you have to load it whenever you want to execute it okay so apart from that we can't do any other thing right so it's just like um, a normal common scratch we have the same kind of blocks same kind of interfaces there right it's almost similar okay then we have uh, extension thing so teachable machine basically we have been doing teachable machine series also so far right so please do go back to my channel if you haven't visited it um, yet. So do go back to my channel and uh, start start uh, with this thing, Teachable Machine. Okay. So use Google Teachable Machine models in your Scratch project, right? So like in Teachable Machine, you can create a model and you can upload it to your uh, to upload it to the cloud, right? After that, you can actually get a link. Mm -hmm. So that link, you will have to uh, give it over here in the blocks in Scratch. That would actually make it use Teachable Machine model, okay? So, and then we have hand sensing uh, to sense hand movements with the camera. Then there's face sensing to sense face movements with the camera. There's body sensing to sense body position with the camera, okay? So this is like a pose model, okay? This is a face model and a hand model. Like we did hand gesture recognition, I hope you remember, right? So something uh, here, it's like uh, you can actually detect uh, fingers, right? Index finger, middle finger, right? Uh, thumb, all these fingers it can actually detect, okay? So with those things, if you want to do some movements, you can absolutely do that, right? And uh, we have video sensing, we can use this also to do... Uh, few projects wherein uh, your camera is accessible and there's some model which is built with teachable machine if you want to use it you just have to click it and you also have to give access to your camera okay so and whatever the model you get you have to paste it over here okay i've covered my camera so it, that's why it's gray but if not it would actually show your camera over here i mean your video over here right so in when model detects class one so how many ever classes you give so those many classes will be listed out here uh, but i haven't play, pasted any url yet so it is not detecting the classes and we have these blocks so turn video on we can set video transparency all right so if you want to use the teachable machine model and if you want to do something you can absolutely use this thing okay so we'll see how to use these blocks and all and how to build a project in our next session. But yes, this is about teachable machine uh, blocks. Then we have hand sensing. 
So hand sensing, we can actually sense thumb, tip, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and pinky finger. Okay. And you can sense uh, tip of those fingers. Uh, I think it just got stuck a little bit, but yeah. So you can uh, actually use this to sense sense thumb finger, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and pinky finger. Okay. So you can get the tip or second knuckle, first knuckle, base. All right. So all these things are available. And turn video off and on, set video transparency is available in this one also. And uh, yes, definitely it would take up some, most of your RAM, right? It's, it's um, not a very light platform, I should say, because uh, it has so many features in it. And most, most of the thing is, it actually gets access to your camera. So it has to run so many things. So it's a little heavy. Uh, for my laptop, it's definitely a little heavy because my laptop is an old one, right? But uh, this shouldn't happen on all of um, all of the systems, right? So it, it all depends on the system configuration too. So this is about teachable machine hand sensing. We have face sensing and body sensing also. So they would have some similar kind of blocks like uh, hand sensing thing, right? Uh, basically, face sensing will have all the face related things like you can go to left ear, left chin, uh, chin, right chin. Okay, so right ear, left outer eyebrow, left eye, uh, left eyebrow, uh, left inner eyebrow, right inner eyebrow, right eyebrow, right outer eyebrow, all these things. Okay, now nose bridge, nose tip, left nostril, nose tip, right nostril, all these things. There are so many on your face, all these things can be uh, detected by this model, face sensing thing, okay? So, and uh, you have some event blocks also, like when smile detected, when joyful feeling detected, so you have feelings thing here. And body sensing, in body sensing, it's, it's like you can go to left shoulder. There are some 17 to 18 points wherein um, it senses body poses, so, all these points are being sensed by your uh, pose model, okay? So left hip, right hip, left wrist, right wrist, left elbow, right elbow, left shoulder, right shoulder, right ankle, left knee, left ankle, ears, eyes, and nose, okay? All these things are detected by body pose. So this is pose model, okay? So this is all about the PRG AI blocks and extension, uh, raise extension of scratch, right? I must say. This is uh, one of the very much um, useful extensions, right? Where we can build some coolest things ever, right? So using uh, artificial intelligence things and all, we can build uh, some cool projects, okay? So this is something which, um, which I had to show you guys today. So it was just an introduction to all of these things. And that to tell you all guys that... Uh, Playground raise is there. So raise extension is there for us to use it and uh, do something on it. And when you click on teachable machine, it would uh, actually take you to teachable machine, right? So this is something we have already been doing and you can also do it. <laughs> okay. So yeah. And if you've not been watching my series yes, please, yet, please do go back to my channel and do watch it. And uh, please do like comment share and subscribe to my channel folks up in the next session we'll be seeing uh some some small project on um, on this one right so yeah this is all for today and um, i will meet you all in uh meet you all guys in the next session thank you so much for watching this video hope you have a great day bye bye guys thank you so much for